Coming up on today's episode of Airborne and Portable Flyers, Kite Magnetic shows off E-Hawk trainer aircraft, Bearhawk aircraft changes hands, Scalewing's SW-51 improved with more power and range. And I'm your host, Talent Lee. Welcome to Airborne Affordable Flyers, our new programming designed to help you get and stay in aviation as affordably as possible. Overseen by the editorial staff of the award-winning Sportplane Resource Guide, we know well the challenges faced by today's sport flyers, and we're here to help you enjoy flying to the utmost. Let's get into today's stories. Kite Magnetic shows off E-Hawk trainer aircraft. CKD Aero has partnered up with Kite Magnetics to create the Dakota E-Hawk, the quote, world's most cost-effective two-seat electric aircraft, end quote. The E-Hawk is intended to be the first in a lineup of kit aircraft using Kite's KM60 electric engine and running gear. The KM60 is much like an old-school piston engine, offering air-cooled direct-drive propulsion with 80 kilowatts or about 80 horsepower. That makes it a perfect fit for CKD Aero's Dakota, making for a two-seat, high-wing aircraft with all the fueling costs of a golf cart. Some back-of-the-napkin math says that the average flight should burn about $4 worth of electric charge, a much better deal than good old Avgas. For training operators, the Dakota Hawk may need to be released in a tricycle-geared aircraft before they put it into use. That probably isn't too far off from the sound of CKD's plans. At the moment, their catalog includes almost two dozen aircraft models for sale, with plenty of choices to choose from should the KM-60 prove ready for real-world use. With an empty weight of 600 pounds and an MG tow of 1,150 pounds, the average gas-powered Dakota sees about 1,200 FPM in climb and 90 to 100 mile per hour at cruise when equipped with an 85 to 100 horsepower engine. And after the break, Massive Innovation Preview offers big news for sport aviation. I think it's a very important thing to share the joy and love of flying. Our customers fly to remote places. They use our products to go places that are difficult to get to. Parts has been an excellent partner for Whip Air, uh, just in terms of your product support, as well as keeping an eye on the market and developing new products that meet demands. And it is that shared experience and the joy of flying that brings us all back and charges all of our batteries up. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. Massive Innovation Preview offers big news for sport aviation. Mark your calendars for April 9th at 10.30 Eastern and log on to airborne-live.net to see this year's massive live sun and fun innovation preview, which the SNF folks promise to be bigger, better, and better than ever before. Nearly 30 companies are ready to let you all in first on the big aviation news coming to the industry in five-minute rapid-fire segments that are sure to be pretty darn exciting. More news to come about this year's event next week. 2024 AMA National Fun Fly announced. Model aviation devotees, what are your plans for June 28th through 30th this year? You might consider attending the AMA National Fun Fly, which will take place on those dates at the International Aero Modeling Center in Muncie, Indiana. This annual event has been revamped and combined with a community day. The AMA Foundation team and AMA headquarters staff have been working hard to make this gathering bigger and better than ever. Hartzell Propeller Requires Whirlwind Propellers a prominent member of the sport aviation community has found a new home. 
Hartzell Propeller has acquired, quote, substantially all the assets, end quote, of Whirlwind Propellers Corporation, expanding Hartzell's product portfolio into light sport aircraft. Founded in 1995, Whirlwind Propellers manufactures composite constant speed and ground adjustable propellers for the light sport, experimental, and unmanned aircraft markets. The company also designs proof of concept propellers for emerging applications. Hartzell Propeller plans to retain the Whirlwind brand and product offerings. FAA preps for Drone Safety Day on April 27th. The FAA is accepting registrations from event operators to be part of its annual Drone Safety Day. The event even offers the 2024 Drone Safety Day playbook with pre made flyer designs to kickstart any advertising. This year, the DSD is taking a broad scope approach to safety, given its relative youth and the annual event stack. Instead of honing on any one particular safety aspect or issue, the FAA will, quote, highlight the societal, economic, and safety benefits of safe drone operations, end quote, as a whole. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Bearhawk Aircraft Changes Hands Bearhawk Aircraft's outgoing owner Mark Goldberg said, quote, After turning 70 years old 20 months ago, I began to think it was time to let someone younger take charge of the company, end quote. The new company head, Virgil Irwin, took delivery of the family earlier this year. Originally, Irwin joined the fold as a customer, searching for a rough-and-tumble mission-ready aircraft that provided truly livable mission readiness. He became the first owner of a Bearhawk Model 5 kit after talking things over with Goldberg. Quote, As I began to build the airplane, I was blown away by the amazing craftsmanship that went into it and the potential that the entire Bearhawk line had. Barrows has without a doubt designed a line of aircraft that have carved out their own segment of the market. End quote. He showed off his newly completed Bearhawk 5 at AirVenture 2023. Irwin said, referencing his co-owner and wife Mackenzie, quote, We will be revising kit manuals, developing new products, and overall expanding the offerings that Bearhawk has for its customers. Our new facility in Fairview, Oklahoma, will be home to our demo planes, transition training, a build assist center, warehousing, and so much more. We look forward to welcoming all to the new facility, and we anticipate hosting several events throughout the year." End quote. And after these messages, Scalewing's SW-51 improved with more power and range. Hello, pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. Scalewing's SW-51 improved with more power and range. The Scalewing's SW-51 Mustang has been further improved with some new options on the order form, thanks to factory upgrades and further design refinements. First off, the SW-51 can now be equipped with a Rotax 916 IS, bringing 160 horsepower of turbocharged fuel-injected grunt to the front of the plane. It's a fine mill to combine with the Mustang, especially now that it's been given a new 2,000-hour time-between overhaul. The Mustang can now be had with a pair of added in-wing aluminum auxiliary fuel tanks, adding a total 18 gallons to its overall capacity. Given its standard capacity of about 23 gallons usable, a Mustang so equipped becomes a very long-legged aircraft. When equipped with a fuel-slipping Rotax, a stock aircraft sees about three hours of absolute endurance at cruise, using the Hot Rod 916 IS engine at Scalewing's estimated 9.5 GPH. But with the 18-gallon aux tanks, that plane carries 43 gallons of fuel. Give it some wiggle room to account for unusable gas, and the aux tanks could add around two to two and a half hours of cruise time on top of the three-hour standard. 
Currently, Scalewing says a basic kit runs around $230,000, but ready to fly completed premium aircraft bring that up to about $450,000 overall. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.